Hello everyone, welcome to our newest data project video. Today we'll go through the data project from Uber. It is called Partner Business Modeling. But before we get started, if you want to learn more about data science, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And to receive notifications, hit that bell icon. Getting to know data has to be the first step of every data project. So in today's video, we will be exploring and cleaning up the data and solving a scenario-based question. To begin with, let's import the libraries that we'll need. Here we have pandas for data manipulation and analysis, numpy for numerical computation, and matplotlib for data visualization. Now let's view the first 10 rows of the data set using the head function. The information in the data set is derived from the rides or the Uber rides taken on a busy Saturday and has been compiled on a per driver basis. It includes details such as the number of trips completed. For example, there's one to about 21 and the driver's acceptance rate, the supply hours, or you can also call it the total number of hours worked and the average rating received. To have a deeper look into the data set, we can use the info method, which will show you the data types of our features, their length and their memory usage. It looks like we are lucky in that we don't have any null values in our data set. Also our data is quite small, as you can see it is only 119 entries and only 5 columns. So our data analysis is going to start with first removing the percentage sign from the accept rate column. We will apply the lambda operator to do that. Here we have a function inside lambda which will help us remove the percentage sign by using index selecting. Then we will view the first rows using the head method. All right, the operation successful, yippee. Make a note that using lambda function with the apply method is really effective and a neat approach for cleaning and changing rows. Next, we will write a custom function called plot count. This function creates a bar graph for a given axis and it takes ax as an argument. Also, it will define the label list to print the values in the middle of the bar if your label is greater than zero. Then it will print count on the Y label and show the graph. We will be plotting uh, more than one time. So by defining this function, we will save a lot of time and our code will be shorter and neater. Now let's implement that. All right, so now we will define a figure size. After that, we will group the dataset by name with the group by function. And to see the count of the accept rate, we will use the count method. And then we will use reset index after group by because it will assign the column as an index. Also, we want zero indexing. So our graph will be a bar graph and there is no need for a legend. Also, for fun, let's select the color to be plum. Let's run this. Here we have the bar graph. And as you can see, most of the taxi drivers have a 100% acceptance rate. Next, let's look at the rating system. We will use the same approach as earlier over here. And instead of accept rate, we will replace it with rating. So here we are grouping by rating and the color is going to be pink. And again, it's going to be a bar graph and no legend. Let's uh, run this plot. And here we have it. The majority of the drivers get a result of 4.5 or higher. So now let's take a look at the completed trips by the drivers. Again, the approach is the same. Instead of grouping by rating, we will be grouping by trips completed. And here we have it. We're choosing a different color, but everything else is the same. So it looks like there's a lot of diversity over here. Now let's look at the hours that our drivers work and guess what we are going to be using. Well, you're right. It's the same function that we defined earlier. So using the same approach as earlier, but group by supply hours, we have this code over here. Let's run that. 
and oh we have a beautiful lavender color over here so it looks like most of the uber drivers work more than five hours for sure so you already see that we basically use the same code several times that's when the benefit of using our custom function in our personal or business projects can be seen now we are familiar with our data set when doing your data project do not skip this section especially don't do that just to save time because if you skip it you'll lose time by answering the questions incorrectly and then doing it all over again is just going to be tedious now we know our data so we can start doing our project with some peace of mind so here we have scenario one we will use this scenario for questions one two three and four but in this video we will only answer question one and then answer the rest in the next video so you know to stay tuned for that in the first scenario it is going to be a huge saturday event and that's why there will be more demand in order to motivate the drivers to be online we are assessing the following two options option one a $50 bonus for drivers who are online for at least 8 hours, accept 90% of the requests, complete 10 trips, and have a rating of 4.7 or better. In option 2, we have a $4 trip bonus for drivers who complete 12 trips and have 4.7 or better rating. So the question 1 asks you, how much would the total bonus payout be with option 1? let's get coding to do that we should filter our data set to reflect the terms of the first option there are four different conditions for the driver to earn fifty dollars which are online for at least eight hours acceptance rate of 90 percent or higher complete 10 trips or more and maintain 4.7 or better reading during the time frame so they should meet the conditions at the same time. So we select from our data frame by defining these conditions separately and use ampersand to depict that we want all of these results to happen at the same time. Now let's see the code. So we're filtering by the given condition, which is supply hours will be greater than or equal to eight and trips completed greater than or equal to 10 and acceptance rate should be greater than or equal to 90 and the rating should be equal to or above 4.7 so now we can use the head function to look at our filter data set so here we have uh, five drivers based on the filters applied now we will multiply the number of drivers by 50 dollars to find out the first options total payout well that's pretty simple all we need to do is find the length of the first option uh, data frame that we just filtered over there multiplied by 50 and print it with a string and dollar sign let's run that so our final answer is 1050 we can do the same operation in one line as well first add a dollar sign and then do the same filtering as we did earlier just apply hours acceptance rate trips completed and reading after that we will find the shape to find the number of drivers and then multiply the result by 50. so here's the code and let's run that so we get the exact same answer that's it for this video to solve the remaining questions from scenario one and scenario two follow our python projects for data science portfolio and subscribe to our channel to be notified. See you later.